as long of as you look course. beautiful, you look we can good. start. Yeah. Sh- fuck. Are we gonna well, be here? For yeah. A while? No. We're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna start anyway. <laughs> That is how we do it. There's a lot of <laughs> randoms happening today, but that is what's happening in our lives right now. Uh, if you don't know how the show works, well, welcome here. For the, if you're joining us for the first time, what happens is our beautiful wives read us two headlines that they find across Reddit. Uh, Am I the assholes? Today I effed up. Things like that. And then Mike and I, just based on the headlines alone, decide which one we think will be the funniest to react to. Now, who you're asking is, who is Mike? That's a great question. It's a great <laughs> question. This is Mike. That answers it. <laughs> yeah. did, now you know. Did he look like what you expected him to? Yeah. We were interested. Yeah. And if you're wondering who reads us the stories, well, that'd be our beautiful wives, Ken and Alana, and they're right here. That's, a, that's a much better reveal there. Oh, uh, was it? That's a yeah. better reveal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're also twinning today. Look at you. We're Taylor's version today. That's right. Taylor's version. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So if you're just joining us right now and uh, you want to subscribe to Taylor Swift's podcast, well, you can fucking do that anywhere. But <laughs> if you want to get dive into the Internet, you can do that right here. Uh, and if you haven't rated, reviewed, and subscribed and everything yet, please do so. We're very fun people to be around. I'm not reading this off a teleprompter. <laughs> we love your support. We appreciate you. And we hope that you stick here for a long time. Kendall, yes. read your first story. Okay. Give us the two options, I guess. Two options to start us off. Am I the asshole for getting my neighbor's Airbnb guests car towed. Okay. Or am I the asshole for reporting my boss after he forced me to attend a meeting despite knowing I was in labor? <laughs> I mean, Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only because like the uh, the Airbnb one kind of rings home. Because remember that time we went to that show in Morgantown. Uh, West Virginia, and yeah. I parked in your neighbor's upper lot, oh, and I and right. and they're like super strict about towing there. Yeah, and I made you go move my car for yep. me. Yeah, oh. you had to drive across <laughs> I the was city. Cooking dinner on the stove, I had to turn all the burners off. Yeah, I forgot about that. Terrible. Damn it! I was like, I'm sorry, I can't help. I tried. Yeah, yeah where were you? I forget where you were. Well, you know, she tried to call the. Uh, she, I tried to she, call yeah, the guy and say, Hey, can you like, not tow the car? And he was like, They're already this. dispatched. Like, she yeah. didn't have Derek. I didn't have yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, but so uh, anyway. so because so I don't have PTSD. <laughs> let's do yeah. the labor inducing okay. one. All right. So, am I the asshole for reporting my boss after he forced me to attend a meeting despite knowing I was in labor? Could you imagine? <laughs> I, 28 female. It's amazing because today's Labor Day, too. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how fitting. Yeah. I did not even think about that. <laughs> All right. I, 28 female, have been working at my company for five years, and until recently, I loved my job. I was eight months pregnant when this happened about a month ago, so I started having contractions while at work. Since I was not due yet, I thought it was just Braxton Hicks because they weren't really that intense. Just a week before that, I had experienced Braxton Hicks and went to the hospital, but it was a false alarm. So this time I was still working when the contraction started in the morning. And I again thought that it was just Braxton Hicks and I didn't want to cause a scene. So I tried to keep working. Fun fact for this show, uh, for this story right here, if you're going back through and we're watching this, or you should start the story over again. Every time Kendall says Braxton Hicks, take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Where's ours? Yeah. So Braxton Hicks was there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the last time I went to the hospital, my boss, John, 45 male, made sarcastic comments about me being overly dramatic and joked about how I should schedule my labor around important meetings. <laughs> I have social anxiety, and I tend to take people's crap without pushing back, so I just took it. By noon, the contractions were getting stronger and closer together, and I knew it was real labor. I needed to go to the hospital. I informed John that I was in labor and I needed to leave. He rolled his eyes and said, (laughs) just stay for the meeting at 1 p.m. It's crucial, and we need you there. (laughs) Well, actually, I'm not going to be here for the next eight weeks because I'm going to be on maternity leave. So Yeah, what's the matter? That's great. John's got that management style from, like, the 80s. (laughs) You could just do whatever you wanted to the employee. Can't you just squeeze your legs together? a little bit yeah <laughs> we got, 
We she got said, a meeting to attend. She said, I was stunned and I reiterated that I was in active labor and needed to go to the hospital immediately. He snapped back. It's just a meeting. Sit through it and then you can yeah. go. <laughs> He's like, it's, it's just a baby. <laughs> he said, it's not like the baby is going to pop out right now. <laughs> like he knows. That is what labor is. Yeah. yeah. Feeling pressured and scared for my job, I reluctantly stayed. The meeting lasted an excruciating two hours. Uh, but she didn't have the baby, that's did right. she? I was just going to say, but Good did for you, you have a baby? John. Yeah. <laughs> well, wins. we'll yeah. see. To be fair, John used to be a baby, so yeah. he knows how babies work. <laughs> also, don't get pregnant when the big quarter's coming up. Yeah. yeah. You know this. Yeah. Fourth quarter, you got to plan that. Fourth <laughs> quarter. By the end of it, I was in so much pain that I could barely walk. I finally left and drove myself to the hospital where I was admitted immediately. My husband reached... Uh, reached out that reached there about 30 to 40 minutes later because he was on the other side of town. Well, was he in a meeting with John? <laughs> yeah, he was in a meeting too. He really was in a meeting? <laughs> Not with John, but yes, he was in a meeting. That's funny, yeah. Yeah. My daughter was born later that evening, thankfully healthy despite the delay. Okay, it gets a little bit crazier. When I told my husband what happened, he was furious and insisted that we report it to HR. Yeah. I was hesitant because I didn't want to jeopardize my job, but I agreed that it was the right thing to do. HR was appalled and assured me that they would handle the situation. John has since been suspended uh -huh. pending an investigation. <laughs> Here's the real kicker. During the investigation, it came out that John had emailed the entire office while I was in labor complaining about my lack of commitment <laughs> and making fun of me for overreacting. Wow. He even implied that I was using my pregnancy as an excuse to get out of work. You but now... All of my coworkers are pissed at me saying that I overreacted and I should have just sucked it up for the sake of the company. I even wow. received messages and emails from a few colleagues saying that I've ruined John's career wow. and that he was just doing his job under pressure. Yeah, but like she had the baby that day. Yeah. I know. Right, that should have that should have validated. Right. A one little man bit. one man even said that I should have toughed it out like their wife did during pregnancy. <laughs> Where is this company? Yeah. I don't know. Know. Yeah. Is this a cult or a company? Yeah. It says the stress has been really difficult to make matters worse. The interim manager is even worse than John. He's made it clear to everybody that he resents my actions and has made my return to work un- bearable yeah. now that my maternity yeah. leave is over i find myself isolated during lunch i'm alone because nobody wants to sit with the troublemaker no one wants to sit with the lady breast pumping yeah, the whole that's true. <laughs> also also though like like that guy the new interim manager's like all right we have a strict no pregnancy clause <laughs> yeah, <right>. in our <laughs> Holy she heck. said she cries most of the time when she's home and she gets mad at her husband now because he's the one that convinced her to turn him in even though i know he did the right thing but I'm just feeling really bad about everything. He thinks I should continue to complain and take more action because he doesn't want to see me like this. And he also thinks maybe I should just quit my job. Yeah, for sure. I don't know what to do. And everything's been worse since giving birth. Am I the asshole for reporting him for doing this? No, no. not you're not the asshole for reporting him, right? Because he was the <laughs> asshole for being like, suck up, suck it up. You're it's insane. insane. It's like, suck it she's up. like, suck it up. Like, that, you know, that's not how babies come out. Right. They don't, you don't suck them up. You suck them out. out. You yeah. know, suck them out. Flush them down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, that's wild, man. Like you hear people act like that anymore. Yeah. Like, in, 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 even like that email he sent, like about what he was using the pregnancy yeah. to get out of work. Yeah. Yeah. Being dramatic. Yeah. Like uh, imagine awful. him typing that out and be like, yeah, that, that, that's that hits all the right. points I wanted. <laughs> <Send>. <laughs> yeah. Let's run this through chat yeah. GPT. Does this sound good? Yeah. <laughs> Just send, uh, yeah, is she not the asshole? No, God. No, no. But what she should, I mean, honestly, what she should do at this point is just, uh, it's not going to get better for you, so just quit your job. Clearly, yeah, you the people to. the people liked your boss, I, and, you know, they're resenting you for him being I, fired. But. I would say keep going to work, keep pushing back. She's close to having a lawsuit at get this point. Seriously. If she doesn't already. Yeah, get pregnant again. No, but just... Just keep, I would keep uh, keep going in and keep complaining and keep yeah. taking evidence down. She, I mean, she, like I said, I think she already has a lawsuit. It's horrible. Yeah. What do you think, Juan? Not the asshole, but it's really hard when you like resent like yeah. a place that you work or like a person that you work with, let alone but like she said she everyone loved the job you before. Yeah, but right. not the workplace anymore. Right. You know? Yeah. Now it's a hostile yeah. work environment for sure. Everybody's mean. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. So weird. You're not the asshole. I say <laughs> sue them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. And quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> not in that order. In that order, actually. Yeah. Don't quit first, because then if yeah. you quit first, yeah, yeah you got to yeah, sue yeah. them yeah. first, and then yeah. they, okay, and then they. Yeah. I think so. I think that's the way it works. So I've heard. So I've heard. <laughs> she could own that company after yeah. this. 
Not the asshole. Not the, no, asshole. No. Not the asshole. Are we ready for two more? Let's yes, bring it we on. is. Okay. These are both interesting. Am I the asshole because I, 35 male, am thinking of splitting with my wife, 35 female, because of a drunk comment that she made? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Or am I the asshole for not punishing my son for his drawings? For his drawings? Yeah. The son is 15. The, the mom is 40. I feel like the drunk comment one yeah, is... Yeah, that's the one, how, I, that's that's the one, one I was... Right, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, okay. They're married, right? You said? Yeah, he said, yeah, he said split wife. wife. He said yeah. wife, yeah. Okay. yeah. You said that was a more interesting one? Wow. I, they're both... In, yes, definitely, for okay, sure. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, okay. Am I the, am I the asshole? Wait, first off, before we start this, yeah. has anybody ever said anything while they were drunk that they regret? Literally never. I can't think of anything. No, I don't think so. Alana? <laughs> Well, I don't think so. I mean, I think I did yesterday. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. I, I Kendall, you had to have. I yeah. had to have said something yeah. bad last I, night. Yeah. I constantly do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing that I can think of. Oh, my God. Look at you. Wait, I almost drunkenly Wait. yelled at the guy sitting in front of us at the concert last night, and yeah. I had so much self-control and restraint that I didn't. I was very proud of myself. And I thought you were going to fight the girl next to us. Oh, I almost <laughs> fought the girl next to me, yeah. too. You were all riled up. I've never done anything bad drunk. <laughs> Do you have the time? Yeah. Hey, listen, listen to Green Day. And Ken, that really makes Kendall fight, apparently. She Billy Joel Armstrong. Up. 90s punk got no, you going. Do you want to know? I don't want him to say the whole thing, but the thing about it was the girl next to me was so not excited to be next to me. And I was like expecting like a friend to like kind of concert with yeah, chat concert with vibe. Concert yeah, yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. she was she, like offended by the sight of me for some reason. She looked like she well, you did have both of your tits out. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the only, only way to get attention. Yeah. Only yeah. Yeah. No, she just wasn't happy. And it, I, I was like, man, yeah. maybe she yeah. was having a bad day. Yeah. She, she looked have. miserable for some reason, mm -hmm. but yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, so well. I didn't say anything drunk. All right. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Okay. Am I the asshole because I, 35 male, am thinking of splitting with my wife, 35 female, because of a drunk comment? Oh. My wife and I have been together for 14 years with one child. Ooh, wow. And we've been friends since we were young teenagers. So we had together like 20. Got this got to be a hell of a comment. Yeah. Wow. To tear down that. I didn't realize they were married that long. Well, they've been together for 14 years. Okay, yeah. Years. But that's maybe still, that's, still, like that's most of their adult life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a long time. We went to dinner at a friend's house, child-free event, and had quite a bit to drink when the topic of my wife's ex-boyfriend came up, no. who I obviously knew as well. We still sometimes see him because of mutual friends. They split because of his drug addiction when they were 19, and my wife and I got together a year after. Okay. In this conversation, our friend said it's very disappointing to see how bad he's doing. My very drunk wife replied how she begged him to get off the drugs and how hard it was that he'd choose drugs over her, and if he didn't, they'd still be together. Oh. Mm, yeah, Whoa. everything up to that point yeah, right. was I great. Was like, yeah, it okay. was great. I was like, what? Wow. She's mad because he wanted him to turn his life around? And then she's like, and we'd still be we'd together. We'd still be together. Yeah. Still he was the love of my life. Yeah. <laughs> together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's crushing. Yep. Mm. I didn't say anything at the time because none of us were in the right frame of mind, so I kept quiet. But it has shattered my world. Oh Yeah, for sure. The next day, my wife could see I was quiet, so I told her what she said and how this has made me question our entire relationship, as I always felt like the second choice anyway. Mm. She is now... Not the second choice, but like the drug-free choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's sugar-free. Yeah. You know how expensive rehab is? I'm just going to marry a different yeah. guy. Um, she has now locked herself in the bedroom and is giving me the silent treatment. Oh, she's the victim now, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that might only be funny to me. <laughs> oh, no, that's yeah. hysterical. That tracks. Yeah. Uh -huh. We didn't even have a conversation because she straight away locked herself away. And I she's, think I want to yeah. end our marriage over this. She's in the bathroom. You know who wouldn't act like this? <laughs> yeah. My ex-boyfriend. You, know you, wouldn't, you wouldn't talk back to me because he'd be passed out right yeah. now. From the yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn. He wouldn't have came home last night, yeah. so... <laughs> we wouldn't have even been able to fight. Yeah, but still. <laughs> uh, Damn. I have a million thoughts in my head, and I don't understand how oh. she is giving me the silent treatment. Am yeah. I the asshole? Okay. Whoa. Wow. Lot to unpack here. That hurts. That does hurt, yeah. and it is, it's way worse... That she's like not even having a discussion about it. No, no, it's, it. it's way worse that she's mad at him yeah. over it, right? Like, he's not the one that made the comment, right? Yeah. Like, she said... like. I couldn't even imagine being like, oh, yeah, if, if 
my ex-girlfriend wouldn't have cheated on me, I'd still be with her, right? right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's basically what she said. That yeah. is what she said. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. For, and for her to, to not be like, you know what I'm, I didn't yes, mean I'd exactly. be with right. him. Right. I just meant that's what broke us Like, up. no, like, yeah, I'm glad yeah. I found you. Yes. Right. But like, but like, he, I was going to marry this yes. person. Yeah. And that's then like, I had to choose between him and drugs and like, yeah. he chose drugs. So like, I couldn't be with him. Yeah, we broke up, and then I found you, and I love my life with you. She exactly. was like, "No, like we'd still be." Yeah. Like, That's like an, yeah. Like, we fucked three yeah. times after we got together. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I I wish I knew what drug it was, so I knew if it was like a. If like, it was <laughs> worth it. Yeah, yeah. If it was worth, worth it. it yeah. If it yeah. was worth it or not. Yeah. yeah. I Cocaine, mean, probably. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. She could have easily walked that back again. Yeah. Again. A hundred percent. She's. I mean. She's doubling down. Yeah. She's doubling down yeah. because she's like, oh, oh maybe I should have stayed. I could have saved him. Yeah. Sooner. Or well, something. I feel like I feel like she's doubling down, and she's at the point where she's like, "Why would you take it that way? Why would you take it the way that I said it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why well, would you yeah. assume that the words that came out of my mouth are the ones yeah. that I meant? You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's kind of what she isn't that what that's what she's saying, right? Like she's like she's like, no, I know what you heard, but that's because that's what I said, but that's not what I meant. You're an asshole for thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, why, do you think he would take me back? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's not clean still? Yeah. I can fix him. Yeah. I can, yeah. I love how, you know, that's the one thing I, uh, women do, will look at, like, any guy in the world. Be like, 40? It's project. Works at Radio Shack? It's project. With his mom? Yep. I can fix him. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm going to tie my wife into this. Taylor Swift lyric. Yeah. I can, I can fix him. No, really, I can. Yeah. But here's the thing. Really I can. We're not wrong. Eh, well, she Except wasn't 100% this, she of the time. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. But you, I know for sure. But it is a, it is a a weird glitchy trait that I think most women have is that like 100%. we fully I fully believe I could be like oh you know what men have that I like you know the best analogy for men what we always like the backup quarter we always think the backup yeah, quarterback's yeah. going <laughs> to come in and do better the, the analogy for men would be like no this is our year yeah, right, this year's it. our yeah. year you yeah know? you every year all yeah. right. But yes, yeah. Go Jets. Am I the asshole for loving the Jets? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to yeah. say she is the asshole. Well, yeah. he, he wrote the story. He wrote the story. So he he's is asking not if he's the asshole. He's not the asshole yeah. for he's getting upset not about the that. asshole. Not I mean, I feel like you've been together that long. Right. You got to talk, talk it out. I know she's not being cooperative right now, so this right. is not his fault at all. Right. But I got to assume you have a kid. You've been together this long. We, they yeah, have to have a discussion would, about this. This isn't like I should leave her for this. I understand that, but it would it would really hurt to hear oh, that. Hey, it's it gonna would, be in the back of your mind yeah. forever. Absolutely, she, she's, it's gonna be like one of those things where like she's really not happy with me. She's only with me because right. her previous boyfriend is gonna die. So, like he's gonna yeah. kill himself with drugs, and like she loves him more than like I'm Plan B basically. Yeah. Mike's it, plan like D at this yeah. point. So really, <laughs> wow. higher than you thought. I moved up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is, that's not bad. It's not bad. No, plan I'm in the top, bad. Yeah. top half of the yeah. alphabet. Now. Honest, That's I'll be honest with you. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, you were playing like F for this podcast. Uh -huh. I mean, if, uh -huh. if Kevin okay. wasn't married to you, yeah. like, you wouldn't uh -huh. even be in that seat right That's now. That's true. <laughs> Is that true? Be my drug addict boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, people in the comments, if you Just can write kidding. something nice about Mike. It would help him out a lot Just because kidding. otherwise he's gonna turn to drugs. I love him. Also, our your four year anniversary is is it today? No, it's on Thursday. Two days. Yeah. Okay, our ten year anniversary is this month too. Oh, what day? The twenty first. Oh, the first day of fall, right? Or is that the day before fall? No, I, think the the I think it's is the first day. I think it's the day before. Yeah, no, it is. It's the 21st. Yeah. Is it? I yeah. think it's 21st. Because it's December 21st, and it's always the 21st. June. Yeah, yeah. I think it is, too. June 21st. Yeah. We yeah. just made that up. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Are we ready for another one? Don't fact check us. Do yes. it. Okay. Um, am I the asshole for refusing to change bikinis after my husband had asked me to wear a thong? <laughs> Okay. okay. Or I'm trying to process that one. She's wearing a different one, and he is asking her to wear. He a wants thong. her to wear. He a thong wanted bikini. her to wear a thong, and she doesn't want to wear one. And now he's asking her to change it. Oh, okay. Oh, she okay. put it on. Now I he doesn't so. want it. Yeah. Or am I the <laughs> ass? So, you know, your balls look huge in that, honey. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> or am I the asshole for nagging my boyfriend when he was having fun with his buddies? No, oh, that sounds like a golf trip. <laughs> that sounds it's like not a, a golf trip. Uh, that's, uh, yeah. Man. I feel like we should read the thong one because I I would like to know your opinions on hey, this. Hey, everybody, welcome to Bad Potato Salad, where Kendall chooses our stories for it. <laughs> <laughs> that defeats the purpose of the, the show. Is she the asshole? Wait, Kendall? no, you could read the one. I just, that was my No, preference. Kendall, it sounds like you already have your mind made up. All right, we'll pick that one. I then. agree. Yeah, just, hey, just okay. so you know, Kendall, if the other story was 
better, I, I would have still been with it. Are you? Yeah. Are you still want to hear about yeah. the thong anyway? No, okay. I do want to hear about the thong. Good Let's to hear. know. Let's hear I'm about confused it. on that. Like the. That's. I feel like I needed clarification. Okay. Okay. Am I the asshole for refusing to change bikinis after my husband had asked me to wear a thong? So yesterday was my husband's birthday. We're both 22. Uh-oh. And, and he was good, That's a good thong wearing age. <laughs> that is a good thong wearing <laughs> age. It's a weird age to start, but it's yeah. a good age. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, he wanted to have some friends over so, for some pool time. I thought it was just going to be a chill time and I would cook for them. <laughs> well, yes. not in that pa- not in those pants. You're not going to cook Turns for Turns out us. he yeah. had other plans. Oh, sure. Have, no, is that a FDA? Who, yeah. Wait, who, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can cook in a thong. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon, he asked if I could wear a thong bikini because he wanted to show me off to his friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to that's gonna work. Yeah, this gets a little problematic. He's 22. For, for I like know. a minute, yeah. he's like, oh, that didn't go over. Yeah. Well. Like, yeah. 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 Everyone's hanging around yeah. the, the grill. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's in the pool just like sharked up yeah. like on their back with like a fin. <laughs> just following her all around. Yeah. <laughs> you said sharked up. <laughs> Honey, you got a bigger bottom you could put on? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Wear this burka. <laughs> this is distracting. <laughs> she said, now I have no problem wearing something that revealing when it's the two of us, but I usually opt for more coverage when we have company. But I felt... <laughs> wow, thoughtful. Yeah. I felt bad saying no to him on his birthday, so I told him that I'd do it. And I put it on about a half an hour before his friends arrived, and he was thrilled about this, which made me feel a little bit better. And then he asked if I could take the bra pads out. Mm-hmm. I told this him that's weird. This yeah. is weird. That's yeah. why I said it. He's gets, 22. I know. I know He's 22. I told him that I didn't want to do that, but he asked a few more times and I relented. But at this point, I was annoyed. I feel like at 22, you asked like this take them out. <laughs> take them out. <laughs> you have a five in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Take those. Show us your tits. To be fair, bra pads are the worst anyway. I would have told him in to take sports them out. Bras, too. They suck. They're the worst. They're literally the worst. They had to have been. Maybe that's what. By. Maybe he knew that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe this is a sensitive guy. <laughs> you know what? Since you're wearing a thong, why don't you take the bra pads? They're just yeah. literally the yeah. worst invention ever. Yeah, okay. by a man probably because they have to because they're, they're so very impactful. poorly. They're to so hell dumb. with bra pads. Yep. Yeah. They're I've I'm always anti, said that. I'm anti bra pad. We'll have a yeah. bra pad burning party. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> his friends come over and I'm bringing them food and beers. And about an hour in, my husband comes inside while I'm in the kitchen and says, he doesn't like how much <laughs> his friends are looking at me and that he wants me to change into a different bathing suit. Oh no, the consequences of my <laughs> own actions. <laughs> Who could have predicted yeah, that? I didn't see that happening. Yeah. That's not your fault. Yeah. I told him I was not going to change and that he had wanted me and next to nothing, even when I didn't want to be. And that's what he was going to get. His friends left a few hours later and we got into a big fight about it. We're somewhat resolved now, but I feel weird. I guess I'm just looking for unbiased opinions here. Am I the assholes and any ideas what I should do going forward if something like this happens again? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, he's you're not going to have this argument longer in your life because he's 22. And he's like, yeah. this will be funny. This will be a great idea. Yeah, but look how hot she is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's just trying to show her. But like, also, like, I feel like if I'm at that pool party and she changes... 100%. Oh, like, that, yeah. like that would be that would That's be awkward for for it's me to be like way did, more uncomfortable. Yeah, like, like did I say do? something? Did like we, did we? Yeah, she comes we out in a one piece and shorts. Yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah. like a lifeguard with the white stuff yeah. on her nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like that makes it worse, right? That makes it worse to to be like, oh, like you know, like she changed. Was it? Yeah. Were we? Were we? demeaning to her like did something happen like i'm gonna say um who wrote that story oh she did she, she did. did um yeah no she's not the asshole because she did she's not. it was her birth it was his birthday she was like she did what he asked her did she need to wear the six inch heels probably not <laughs> yeah. fishnet yeah probably not yeah did she have to blow john yeah. somebody yeah. said me i once i read this again maybe i realized well, you were serving food and drinks, so maybe that's what really made the difference. Oh, that's to him. what it was, yeah. Hanging out naked doesn't have the same impact, or hanging out mostly naked beside him doesn't have the same impact as fetching and carrying his friend's drinks. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not why. No. That's that's not why he asked her to be in that. What do you think, Lon? <sighs> I don't know. It makes me feel weird, like. Yeah. slimy what do you yeah. do when like derek asks you to be naked when your friends come over oh well, she learned <laughs> i mean i don't know yeah, when like, my friends come over i didn't really you say that far I, yeah. I thought you just said when he had, I, yeah but that's the other thing too like she, she he asked her yes he if she says no that's a fight right 
right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but it shouldn't be. Birthday. It shouldn't be. Exactly. No, it's sleazy on his he, part, but he's yeah. 22. I don't think he's out of bounds asking. Right. No. But if right. she said no, it should have been done. I, you know, if she did. But say, then but you if can't he's like, hey, man, then. you should wear that sexy bathing suit today. I, don't, I mean, that's a normal thing for yeah. someone to say. But then when she, and if she wore it, fine. But then and everyone's looking like, what do you think was going to happen? Yeah, right. And it shouldn't be that big a deal anyway, unless you don't. But 22 is a different age. A hundred percent, yeah. To deal with anything. Right. So right. I, I, Your brains aren't even for, fully yeah. formed yet. Until Especially 26. Yeah. yeah. 25, 26. Yeah. Especially a male staring at someone in a thong walking back and forth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when does that part of your brain get fully developed? Because mm-hmm. mine's not. <laughs> Honestly, maybe what she left out that she didn't know was maybe when he walked outside, they were all like jerking off in the pool together. <laughs> yeah. He was like, maybe we should. We yeah. don't have enough yes, chlorine please. for this. <laughs> we don't have the pH levels are all yeah. off. <laughs> Shit. They're all outside individually in a corner. <laughs> and one <laughs> one guy's jerking off on the diving no, board. <laughs> no, literally wow. nobody will get out of the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, I can't right now. Would yeah. you bring me a beer in yeah. here? How come nobody wants to come over here and drink? Man? Yeah. yeah. We just, have food. We'll yeah. just eat it at the, yeah. beside the pool. It's yeah, fine. I'm, I'm comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> yeah, I. she's not the asshole. No, definitely not. She's... A no. barely covered asshole, but <laughs> yeah. not the asshole. It's just, it's just the best. Like he got what he wanted, and then he yeah. said, "Oh fuck, no, I didn't want yeah. that." You know what I mean? Like that's. Yeah. And it's smart for her to just keep it on, because then if she didn't want to wear it, she'll never be asked again. A hundred percent. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, yeah. so right, see it through, and Walk it would be weirder if she went and changed. I think that I think that's the weirdest part. Like At it would be weird time. if she went to change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do we? We, we do we have time for one more? Yeah, we have time for one more. Yeah. Okay. All right. These two are absurd. Okay. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for reselling items that were given to me for free? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. That's what a gift is. Yeah. Or am I the asshole for almost cutting my partner with a chainsaw? Ooh. <laughs> I know a lot of you're thinking like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm sure it was an accident. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> what do you I don't want? care. A lot of was like, tell me more. Yeah. yeah. The you Texas. Pick, you pick it. Um, uh, well, every time I've ever asked Alana to do a house project with me, it's ended in a fight. Mm. So I feel like that's where the chainsaw one's going. So let's do that one. Okay. All right. I just asked her to carry a TV in today, and we yeah, and, we got, and we you got were like, fight. "You're doing it wrong. You're doing it you, wrong." You shoved me directly into your rear view, in your side mirror <laughs> on your car, so you kind of did do it wrong. Well, maybe it was your fault for not realizing that the side mirror was there. Too. Yeah. It was her fault I for pushing asked me. if we could you go should've... between the cars, See? and you said, "Yeah, well, that's well there more were steps two to side take. mirrors that we could have hit there, mine and yours." You said that's more steps to take. You know, what? she's not going to question you if you're holding a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wear a thong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. This, I'm coming over to watch you hang while the TVs you're now. reading this. I feel like she <laughs> so I'm gonna put watch you hang these. in edits into the story based on things. So there's some like, oh, this, let me clarify. Da, 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 da. So there's like a little bit of that. But hey, it's fine. also, and for those people out there watching right now, as I want Mike to see this as well, we fixed the delay in the camera and <gasps> it's made me so happy. W- watch out. So, what? Oh, bang, what did you say, Derek? Bang, what did bang, you say, no, Derek? Bang, travel that bang, fast. bang, bang, bang. So yeah, so we're very happy as a group right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have we're no very idea. happy. We're right collectively yeah. thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that is a quick edit. Yeah. Okay. Here okay. we go. All right. Am I the asshole for almost cutting my partner with a chainsaw? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> TB3. I, 29 female, and my partner, 33, can't seem to agree on who was the asshole in this chainsaw incident. <laughs> <laughs> so, backstory we needed to cut down a tree from our yard. It was a widespread invasive species where I live. We decided to do it ourselves, as with mo- most things around the house. Edit. Can't afford groceries, much less a professional tree trimmer. All right, that was that <laughs> was my f- that was my first Good. question for Derek's sure. Yeah, question. that was my first question. It's like okay. that's some, that's something you hire. Can somebody you for. afford a tree trimmer? Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, no, we can't. <laughs> Answer no. Now I have very little experience with a chainsaw, and my boyfriend has one arm. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've used one. I've used one twice in my life before this incident with zero proper training. Mm. It's more times than I've used one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I've yeah, two's a lot. I would think yeah. of chainsaw yeah. use, and it's also pretty easy. They're pretty. You just pull the trigger and just. Me. Well, that was you guys made. You guys made matching chainsaw noises. That was good. 
Um, my partner decided to let me have a go of it with no issues at first. Then our neighbor, neither of us had ever had a conversation with this man before, and we were both severely introverted and anxious <laughs> around other people. <laughs> Perfect combo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Until they found each other. Yeah. Do you want to talk to me? No, no. I don't want to talk to you either. Yeah. Let's Perfect. get married. I Let's love do you. it. Decided to come over and tell us about how we were doing it wrong. Edit. It was more of an explanation on chainsaws themselves than actual education in how to handle the tool. Because like the history of it? You know, uh, the chainsaw was actually invented. <laughs> In 1879. Johnny Steele. Yeah, That's what right. I was going to um, say. Uh, you know, it's, uh, so, I, I, okay, I, I know we have a lot of the story yet to read, but, like, I feel like as a neighbor, if I saw someone doing something potentially dangerous with a power tool, Absolutely. I would but, maybe But I would she's maybe saying he wasn't over. doing that, though. No, she he, said it was like, yeah, he walked over and told was, him, like, hey, this is not how you use it. Like, you're yeah. supposed to use it this way. But he, he didn't. What but I the, thought you said he didn't say it. He was just talking about the chainsaw. Well, he not came over to, to tell us how we were doing it wrong, and right. then it was more of an explanation on just chainsaws themselves. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah so maybe not he was like... Maybe he said one thing first. I'm just... I'm only pointing out because she clearly says the next sentence, not on how to use it. Okay. All right. The next sentence says... Because then it gets worse apparently yeah <laughs> well it's getting bloodier anyway <laughs> <laughs> they killed the neighbor <laughs> <laughs> i don't know am i the mad. asshole I don't know why he's <laughs> <mad>. whoopsie <Yeah. laughs> we cut his legs off <laughs> i decided not to entertain this random guy <laughs> and went back to cutting the tree leaving my poor defenseless partner stuck in a conversation with this dude my back was then tur- was turned to them and i couldn't hear them over the power tool so I'm doing my thing for a minute, and this is where it might be pertinent to mention that I am severely susceptible to jump scares with an overactive flight, fight, flight, fawn, freeze response. Ooh. And oh, I that absolutely had wait, therapy. And maybe. I absolutely hate being touched. Oh, bad combo. Yeah, yeah. To maybe don't put a chainsaw in that <laughs> <Yeah>. person's hand. <laughs> I can just imagine the yeah. revolutionary work. Give her a musket. Yeah. <laughs> put a gun in her hand. She has. PTSD, this is well known and documented amongst the two people that know me. Oh. Two people? I'm already on edge from the random person being nearby. Next thing I know, someone is tapping me from behind and true to my nature, I freak out. I swing around involuntarily Ugh. out of fear with the still with the chainsaw still running oh my in my God. hand, almost cutting off my partner's legs in the process, dramatically worded according to their de- definition. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, she wouldn't have cut straight through his legs. Right. I mean, she would have hit his leg. Like butter. And then, like, it would have, she'd have taken her hand off the trigger. Like, it would have sucked. But, but like, like, all, I mean, yeah. any kind of close to a chainsaw yeah. accident is. Yeah, but have you ever tried? Have you if you've never used a chainsaw, it takes a lot of force to cut. You were just gonna something. say, have you ever tried to cut yeah. through? I was bone? just gonna it say, it takes a lot of Derek. force to cut through yeah. something. Okay, with wait, a chainsaw, so she almost so like, hits him, but then they were able to jump back and avoid being hit. I was less lucky. The chainsaw ended up swinging so far, and I hit my own thigh, ripping my pants and leaving me sev- several deeply gouged cuts from this now dull chainsaw. Oh. I went inside dull. to tend to my wounds. I decided not to go to the hospital. Because she'd had to talk to people. Yeah. She can't be in there talking you to people. everyone I- leave. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> When I came back out, my partner expressed they were upset for- with me for swinging around a live chainsaw as I could have been really hurt. And they were also flabbergasted and kind of angry that I didn't have basic chainsaw sa- safety at the forefront of my mind. Oh, this person's weird. Yeah. yeah. I kind of understand why I should have been in control of the dangerous weapon I was holding. But also, I feel like the fault does not lie with me for being startled from behind. Wow, they could very clearly see that I had a running chainsaw in my yeah, hand. But also, it's not like she was in the woods alone and someone walked right. up on her. Right. You know what I mean? Like, there are two other people in yeah, the yard. Yeah, you knew there was people yeah. there. You were in a conversation with them and Mythical. decided to, to turn, turn around, around and start right. doing yeah. that while they were still talking. Like, if you're yeah. in the woods and, like, someone right. taps you on the shoulder, like, like, yeah, turn around and start swinging. But, like, that was... Well, maybe don't just turn around and start swinging <laughs> there either. But no, I know that's what you mean. True. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's probably true. That's crazy. Is that it? That's the story? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What does the, what does the top like, comment say? Yeah, you're the you're asshole. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Ah. You're the yeah. asshole. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't ever. Does she have, have any you're rebuttal? Or just. There, no. I no, mean. She's just. Was she wearing a thong when she did it? <laughs> <laughs> I, think no. that, I think it comes down to, like, again, stuff like that. It's just easier to pay somebody a couple hundred dollars to do it. I understand, like, if you don't have the money, money's tight, but, like, Save up. Ask a parent. Ask a friend. Like ask, ask somebody. 
Ask a neighbor. She Ask only knows neighbor. two people in her defense. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Her GoFundMe would be very yeah. limited reach. Ask but like, a neighbor. I you guess. know, like if that's a big project, like ask a neighbor and run. Yeah, yeah. Cutting down, and th- this guy seemed more than willing to be like involved in it. Totally, having yeah. a handy neighbor is the best. We don't have one anymore. We used to. Is yeah. there anything better than being in a scenario like that and having a man come over and just mansplain how to use a <laughs> yeah, how to true. use a uh, that's true chainsaw? I what will would say, be better. To be fair, I don't know where this story took place. It sounds very Midwest. Yeah. Like, it sounds like, oh, you know, you're not doing that right. You know what I mean? Like, like, that was like, like Scottish. Yeah, no, what was that? Yeah, well, it was, it was, <laughs> it was uh, not Midwest. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Mid- I quit. He meant the Midwest part of Scotland. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they, say open, they say open the Midwest, don't right. they? Yeah, they say yeah. open. Don't Oop. you don't you know? It did sound. Scottish. I mean, that yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't you know is a little Minnesota, don't you know. I suppose. Yeah, that's Minnesota. That's Midwest. But the way you, but the way you said the whole sentence was yeah. really, well, really giving are, Scottish. You sounded like fat bastard. <laughs> oh, you did sound like fat bastard. I don't never seen it. I'm serious. You never seen, seen Austin Powers? Powers? No. What never is wrong with him? No. Well, I didn't know. I didn't. I thought Fat Bastard was his own movie. I've <laughs> never. I I thought Fat Bastard was the rapper who just died. What did you say? I thought. Fat Bastard was that rapper that just died. Wait, is that true? Who's that? Yeah, I don't look it up. Fat but. Bastard is Michael Myers in Character Austin Powers. In Austin Powers. I didn't he's see a it separate either. Character. Yeah, I didn't, see, I didn't see Austin Powers. He's a fat Powers. Scottish Wait, guy. you've never seen Austin Powers? I've never seen Am, it either. It Are we the asshole for not seeing haven't. Meister? Why? I haven't seen any movies. I'm oh. not a movie person either. I've seen Austin Powers at least ten times. You were in college, yeah. like... Yeah. When no. that was no. Oh. no, 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 that came out when I was in high school. I'm not saying that you should have seen it like at that time, but like I feel like that's the thing that like resurges when you're like, in college. I know, I know like, the hits from it, so like you're like groovy baby or yeah. like one million dollars. Like I would have, I would have gotten that, but fat bastard. But you don't like, know fat bastard. Like, the that's rapper like, that died was Fat Man Scoop. Good job. Mike. He's the one that died on stage. Like, I was trying to read. Oh, I, shit. oh that's when? sad. Like oh. uh, two days ago. Oh. Yeah, he's like, like while he's performing, they were doing like CPR. I, I oh. thought they, I thought. They had revived him. So he might have died like at the hospital after. Did you see? Did you see that 49ers player got shot in the chest? Yeah, that's crazy. In the chest during an armed robbery in broad daylight in downtown San Francisco. Is he alive? Yeah. Not only is he alive, a day later he's out of the hospital. Shut yeah. up. Yeah. That's tough. You guys didn't see that? I saw. You, but you know who Fat Bastard is. But you. I saw a headline <laughs> of Scoop. the the shooting, but I didn't read it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Nice. We got way off topic from the chainsaw. But I know. Like, we're uh, going to have to start doing but, uh, current events at yeah. the top of the hour. <laughs> yeah. we do yeah. this. Honestly, I could talk about current events all day. Let's go. Oh, could you? Day. Spin-off yeah. podcast. Currently. Uh, currently with currently, Alana and Kendall. Currently. <laughs> apparently with Alana and Kendall. And uh, not the, uh, yeah, she is the asshole. Yes. Definitely the asshole. Yes. You should never have a power tool. You should never ever operate again. a power tool. No. No. Never. No, no, for all of our safety. I'm about to hang a couple TVs at, at later to the sit today, and I'm not gonna invite her. You're gonna do it today. Yeah, I'm. For sure. I know I will not be around you. Are you gonna use a chainsaw and you... cut holes in the wall? Yes. It's a lot of pressure. Brand new house. Ooh. A lot of pressure. Yeah, drywall is easily replaceable. We're fine. So We're fine. are you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll murder everybody in this room. <laughs> Turn on the gas. Um, if you are here right now, you just finished this episode of Bad Potato Salad, and we thank you for doing so. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Uh, if you could, rate, review, subscribe. Here's the thing about subscribing and reviewing and rating the podcast. Uh, it costs you zero dollars. What a fucking deal. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you can't get that kind of deal anywhere else a in the whole world. Of a deal. And you only have to do it once. Deal. Actually, you Amazon, you can. I think. Amazon, no. You can still get that. You, still, you can still from Amazon. <laughs> you can yeah. still, still there. And, uh, and so, if you are watching this, please rate, review, subscribe anywhere podcasts are available. We greatly appreciate it because uh, we've get this comment a lot. And I, this, may, this is my favorite comment to get under the videos is I just found this podcast. And I need to know how you don't have more followers. Aww. Like that's my favorite one to it's get because nice. it's like, oh, this is like it, the podcast is good and it's working. Um, and Thanks, so Mom. we appreciate you. We're coming up on our one year anniversary, Ooh. and as always, we we did say we were going to do a, a one ver- one year anniversary blowout blowout yeah. celebration. We are. Uh, Mike's going to take his shirt off. Yeah, it's going to be it's so good. We're not there yet, <laughs> but it's going to be here. Yeah. And uh, so we have been bad potato salad, and you have been served. Yes, you have. Boop.